Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and for years I've been using the Parallel Dimension Tool, and I love it for a number of reasons, and I've got a couple of videos out there. But I could never figure out one of the tools in the flyout called this segment. And I'm gonna I finally figured it out today, and I thought I'd share it with you, and it's a it's a pretty big deal and be pretty helpful. So when you're using the parallel dimension tool, and this is something you would use. Okay, we know this box by Corel Draw is five inches by five inches. But if we wanted to show the customer, so you got to hit on that node and then go down to that node and go across and you've got your five inches. So you can show the customer, you know, the size of the box in reference to their text. But there's no way to measure like from there to there with the parallel dimension tool without, you know, some little tricks, you know, you'd have to hold down the control button to make sure you go straight across. And then you have to make sure you're on that edge. But if you select the segment dimension tool, all you have to do is get in the ballpark and it will grab those two corner nodes. And I don't care what direction you go, um, you know, you could go, uh, well, let's just uh, measure this right here. You know, that could be done, but there's no straight edge to use the parallel dimension tool. So you have to use the control button. And where this really might come in the most important, these two five-sided polygons are the exact same size. If I wanted to measure uh, this distance between these two nodes, you know, I want to know what that distance is. And I don't know when you'd ever do that. If you use the parallel dimension tool, you have to go from that node to that node and you have to stick on that node. You have to make sure you're on that node. Well, if you use the segment, all you have to do is just, um, and it's actually a different figure. Let's look here. We've got 896 versus 852. Because this, the parallel dimension tool, is measuring this distance. And this is just measuring, so it's more like the angle, where this is measuring just the height. And let's just prove this. Our height is 8.52. We click on our object. We got 8.5717. Okay, so what it's doing is rounding off. Uh, so it is right. And you can change this. I've showed this in other videos. Uh, when you're doing this, let's just erase this one. Let's grab our... Before you do anything, you can make it have more zeros. So let's do it now. See what it says. And we're 8.5175. Uh, and our rectangle is 8.517. So we've, we've actually gone too many zeros. But this could be very helpful. And, you know, just when you're drawing something, if you want to know something fits, um, very helpful. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.